More Firsts Anna Russell Jones is an asynchronous online learning module developed by the library staff of the Connolly Library at Moore College of Art and Design. This module will familiarize learners with the legacy of Anna Russell Jones, a pioneer of art and design and Moore's first African American graduate. Using curated artifacts from the college archives, as well as other local archives, students will participate in a media-rich journey of Russell Jones' life and legacy, making stops along the way to understand milestones in her career in the context of racial, social, and historical barriers. The next tile students will encounter is the life of Anna Russell Jones. This includes an introduction leading to an interactive timeline. This timeline includes many artifacts gleaned from Moore's College archives, as well as those from the African American Museum of Philadelphia. In the background of this timeline, you can see a pattern designed by Russell that was used for the cover of the spring 1987 issue of Moore magazine, which featured an interview with Russell upon her receipt of an honorary doctorate from Moore College of Art and Design. At the time of her attendance, Moore College of Art and Design was named Philadelphia School of Design for Women. This section highlights her achievements, and drawing from course catalogs for Moore's archive offers descriptions of courses that Russell would have completed during her tenure. Upon graduation in 1925, Anna began working at James G. Speck Design Studio in Mount Airy, Pennsylvania upon the recommendation of Philadelphia School of Design for Women Dean Harriet Sartain. After gaining experience, Anna left James G. Speck Studios in 1929 to pursue freelance opportunities, selling textile designs to East Coast carpet and wallpaper manufacturers by presenting her portfolio at New York City showrooms. Using reproductions of Russell's designs that were featured in the African American Museum of Philadelphia's recent exhibit, Anna Russell Jones, The Art of Design, students are invited to view her designs and comment on her aesthetic or respond to their peers in comments. In the final tile, students will draw on what they have learned through viewing archival materials and create their own carpet sample on the interactive Miro board. As our research continues, we look forward to identifying additional artifacts that will add depth and breadth to this module.